Now we're going to go over how to set up Gboard, the Google keyboard, as the default keyboard on your Android phone. I'm showing you how to do it on a Samsung Galaxy S10, but it's going to be the basically, you're basically going to do it the same way on no matter what Android phone you have. So the first thing you want to do is head to the Play Store and search for Gboard, the Google keyboard, and go ahead and install it. On here, we already have it installed, so once it is installed, you can just go here and click open, or you can find it within your apps, um, in your app drawer too. So we're going to go ahead and click open here. Once we do that, um, it's going to go through the setup of how to make sure we make it our default uh, keyboard. So first, we're going to click enable and settings here. Once we do that, you'll see the Gboard option here, and we might need to make sure we turn it on. And then it just gives us uh, an alert here, and we and just read through this and make sure you're okay with it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and tap okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and select input method. You can see the default right now is the Samsung keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and make it Gboard. Then we're going to go ahead and set permissions. We're going to go ahead and click allow to those permissions that it wants. And then we're going to hit done. Once in here, here are the settings and everything for the keyboard, um, which we'll go over in other videos about all the stuff you can change in here. Um, but I'll just go ahead and show you if we just go somewhere to pull up the keyboard. You can see I now have the Gboard here with the little Google logo in the top left. And so that's how you set up Gboard as the default keyboard on any other Android phone. Hopefully that helps out.